Oh yeah. So you know I feel what? That. I mean, Wolf is a very cocky, like rash attitude type of character. Canine is no stranger to having a having a mouth when he's uh, fighting his opponents. And uh, what a better way to be even more in sync is to become a wolf yourself with that with that mask on. <laughs> Dude, this is too crazy. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Dude, I wouldn't want to play with the mask on though. I feel like that would just bother me, like while I'm playing. Yeah, like, I, mean, I would rip it off. Like I, after the first stock class, I'd just be like, "I'm done with this. I'm done with this." Can I smart though? He's got the mask where like his mouth is still there, is, is still Uncovered, open, yeah. so that he doesn't like breathe into his face. Oh, uh, that's constantly. the worst for sure. Yeah, but here we go. He's lucky he doesn't have glasses either. That would just be uh, even worse. Yeah. But game number one onto battlefield, and it's gonna be K9 as Bruce versus. YMCA. YMCA, fun fact, I asked him why he chose that tag and he was like, uh, I worked there once and I didn't know what to make my tag. Oh my God. Yeah, that's his tag. Hey, sometimes uh, you, you have to make your job the, the tag. is very reasonable. Wow, catches him on the air. End lag of that spot dodge, not able to get anything. Yeah, I know the, the names are reversed, but that is in fact YMCA uh, playing the Donkey Kong versus uh, K9 who is playing the Wolf. 113% now onto uh, YMCA. This is still a pretty good position to be in, especially considering with Wolf only at 57%. I feel like he only needs a little bit more percentage to get this uh, combo off the platform, but F tilt, still not enough. Yeah, all of his moves are just barely not quite taking the kill, but the back air will be able to do it. Yeah, and K9 is really just playing this clinically, like spacing himself just outside of any of YMCA's potential hitboxes. Yeah, right. I love that option oh. to use the laser just because it's a quick, okay, you're doing nothing. Uh, I'll just get a couple of 3% off of you because of it. And the juggle is on the top platform, keeping up in the air. Now, these two are quite winning in their air to air combat. Just, uh, the hitbox is not quite working out in their favor. All right. K9 already with a substantial lead right now on this second stock, 119%. That should do the trick. He shouldn't make it back, so. Yeah, didn't outright kill him, but it sent him so far off the stage. And I've been on the receiving end of that, so I, yeah. I knew. I was just like, oh yeah, he's dead. I feel like he could have tried to use the Wolf Flash as potentially a sweet spot, but... I, 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 I think he was yeah. too far away, yeah. Uh, but the down smash, that'll clip him before he can make it back to the stage. And the fair set him into the grab, looking like a Smash 4 sheet all of a sudden. Getting 59% on 73. I'm just oh! blinking into the dare! Hello. A9 looking really strong. I mean, you were talking about him being in sync with his character, and he was totally in sync when he got that down air spike to net him that JV2 finish. Yeah, when the victory poses were coming out, I was legit half expecting K9 <laughs> to do the pose with Wolf, but it looks like that's not quite happening. But yeah, it's working out quite well against this Donkey Kong. All right, and let's see if he can uh, make it happen a second time in this game number two, YMCA. Uh, definitely not gonna take that in stride though. He's gonna definitely uh, do his best to bring it back. And he's already beat K9 uh, once or twice before, so he's definitely got it within his uh, capabilities. Yeah, it's not unfamiliar to him. Yeah. It's not like he's trying to pull off the F-set of a lifetime of his career or anything. Just another day at the office, yeah. you know, as long as you're not getting JVT. So here we go, uh, YMCA trying to have a difficult time making it. Despite the small stage, it's very yeah. difficult. I like I like the stage pick though, though, because of the uh, the smaller platforms and the fact that he has one large platform on the middle of the stage. He is able to um, get the ding dong combo onto the platform from any position on the stage. He just jumps towards the center, and that should be it. Yeah, but he does have to have the percent range for it. Right now, it's looking like he may be looking for uh, the down B and the up smash setup. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Trying to tr uh, cancel the charge and take him out using a back air was not quite going to work. Yo, one of these two just have to blink from the other. And that's... Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, it's trying to space out those back airs with K9. Finding the right timing. Both of them parry for parry into the down smash. That's going to take out the stock. And 160% now onto YMCA. He's going to want to be careful. He's nearing back throw percentage, especially on this stage. All right, he goes for the down throw. Wasn't quite sure if he would get the stock. Neutral arrow do the trick though. 31% only on K9 now. Okay, gets the landing fair into an up tilt to pick him up. Not gonna catch an air dodge, unfortunately. 
But he's still got a decent sized combo against the uh, YMCA, and he's gonna continue it with that landing there into the down tilt. Alright, K9 just carefully spacing himself around these hitboxes. He finds a grab and another grab off of the tech chase, the tech roll in. Uh, K9 dashing back and forth to keep himself ambiguous. Yep. And I like to point out that a lot of people, they talk about Wolf and it's like, oh, he just spans lasers all the time. But you can notice that K9 doesn't throw out lasers all too often. He'll never really throw it out into neutral. He's either doing it in a advantage position or when he's fading back, trying to make his opponent chase him. That way he knows that he can get a guaranteed hit because his opponent's not thinking about shielding in neutral against the lasers. Yeah, definitely. It's funny that people think like, uh, Wolf can just spam lasers like that. It does travel the majority of the stage, but it's it's got like a decent amount of startup, but it definitely has a lot of cooldown. Like, yeah. You can you can jump over it and then get a punish on him a lot of the time. I think the big thing that was throwing people off is that it was transcendent, so yeah. it can't clank with hitboxes. It goes but through everything. <laughs> yeah, but it works out just fine right now. Gonna get the down throw. I think the little elevation on that platform helped to confirm that a little bit easier. Because sometimes in certain characters, the down throw won't connect and they'll be able to go to shield just in time. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, K9. that did it. 2-0. <laughs> Dang.